Greetings and welcome to Railroad Corporation. I'm Catherine of Sky, and first of all, huge thank you to Iceberg Interactive for the key to play this game. Now, this is a railroading game, and you all know I love those. Anyway, what we did is I tried out this game on uh, stream the other day on Twitch just to see how it plays. Um, and uh, so you can find that playthrough. It's about two hours long where we did the, I think it was the tutorial and the first mission, uh, just to learn the game and figure it out so I could do a proper uh, YouTube um, feature. And that's what we're going to do today. So catch that stream if you want to see the, all the beginnings of stuff. But we should be able to get through kind of tutorially stuff today as well. So we're going to continue the campaign. But I should mention, this is an early access game. And so far we've seen that it's missing a few quality of life features, but it does have some other really interesting stuff. Um, so let's continue the campaign. Let's see. Did I continue at the right point? I don't remember. Let's, we'll see. We'll see. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, so here's our briefing. Real deals. We successfully executed our first large order, and now it's time to deal with something even bigger. Remember I told you about shipment? So our company has received an order. We need to produce a consignment of clothes and deliver it to Atlanta. Knoxville will be our starting point because it has a clothes factory. This will be no easy task. Hire a few employees to your office who will assist you. You can't bring a nobody off the street. We do not need spongers in the office. The company doesn't pay people for their good looks. And do not hesitate to change people. Why keep a person doing nothing? Would you like to sit in an empty table all day and get a miserable salary? Bored to death. It's great when you're in the right place and doing something interesting. Also buy a textile factory to save our money. It is much more profitable to produce and sell your own goods instead of simple reselling. In general, it would be nice to purchase all the enterprises of the clothes production chain. Then all the money from the industries will be ours. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start in Knoxville because it has a clothes factory. That's important because my brain will forget it. Okay, let's pause. Okay, so this is a game about... Uh, well, it's about running trains. It's about buying industries. As we see, this is the very first industry mission. I haven't done this before. So this is also going to be a learning thing. But I have learned how the game works and what you need to do to make sure that you meet the goals and don't, um, well, shall we say, exit the game prematurely. Um, this game is very much scenario based at the moment. I do not know if there's going to be a sandbox. I certainly hope there is. Um, there are several... Uh, things that I should talk about. So you you exit premature. I don't want to say die, but we, we all know the word die. You end the game, you fail, whatever. If your money goes to greater than minus 50,000 in debt, at zero, you take a, um, a loan, a bank overdraft, for which you're charged enormous interest uh, every tick or so. Uh, anyway, it's very, very expensive. 1% per day, which is a lot of money uh, compared to the amount of money we make per day. So we don't want to get... That's that's death point. And the game doesn't let you like, oh yeah, try again. It doesn't... No, 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 no. It's just like, nope, sorry, you failed. Bye. I don't like that part of the game. It's horrible. Um, especially because there's another thing we have to keep track of. All of these items like cotton here... Price per one is 1300 and then if we look for, let's see, demanding cotton would be here. Textile factory, you see the demands on the left and the production on the right. So they will pay us 4015 for cotton. So the problem is when you get to higher end items, like in the last mission we saw in the stream, we had steel, which sold for 11,000. We had to pick up and it costs us 11,000. And at some point I was at like minus 30,000 because I was expanding like crazy. I was like, oh my God, we're at minus 41,000. And if it had bought one more steel, we would have ended the game. Like literally just boom and you're dead. And I don't really like that part. So I'm hoping the developers watch this and will care about this because it's so unforgiving and horrible. Uh, the whole minus 50,000. I understand the whole buying and reselling thing. It's part of the economy. I think there are some other games that do that. Um, but that un unforgiving nature of thing, when you actually have a profitable enterprise, um, maybe the train could wait before getting into that debt or I don't know, something. Maybe it's like you can't go beyond that. 
Uh, the game itself says something like, uh, at minus 50,000, you will be unable to conduct any more transactions, blah, blah, blah. And then it also says you will be fired, but why not just leave it at that minus uh, thing? Anyway, let's let's get into the actual game here. So we're supposed to start in Knoxville, I think they said. There's Nashville, Cookville, Cleveland, Pulaski, Cullman, Birmingham. Now, the other thing about this game is you can only um, start... Oh, here it is. Okay, I guess we are starting the corner. You can only start building tracks where you have a station, and we only have one station on the map. This is a pain in the socks, this here, because um, at the moment we don't have another city to connect to. I guess we'll connect to Chattanooga uh, for now. So, because we want to be able to take back and forth the passengers, um, we'll also get some grain for some money to come in. We'll also get this logging to happen as well, because they, they buy uh, grain and wood. Uh, and they make some product for that. Does anybody, do these guys buy meat? Demand meat? No. So meat is a higher level demand of Nashville. So they'll they'll eat the meat over in Nashville. But yeah. So Knoxville doesn't, does it actually have, oh, it does. It has a clothes factory. Okay, so they demand leather and they demand textiles. Oh, so if we take some of this wheat to the farm in Chattanooga, then we can ship back the leather. Oh, that's good. 2400 and we can sell for 9240 That is pretty darn tasty stuff. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off. Ooh, labor exchange. This is a new thing. You need to set up an HR department to hire staff. Okay. Ooh, hello, tasty stuff. But he costs $540 a month. I don't know if that's worth it, actually. Uh, we also have things like research that we need to set up our office to do that. But first of all, we need to make sure that we can start getting our railroad built. Now, you can min-max the, the route. Because if I try to connect to Chattanooga, it's going to do this crazy route like this, which we don't want. No, 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 no. Uh, let me think about how I want to connect Cookville. Let's start off by going like this way and then we'll go here and um, and then we'll connect to Chattanooga like this. There we go. And we'll confirm this. This is going to cost us 28,000, which is a lot of money. Uh, I am going to make this a double track uh, because that's kind of important. Now, one thing that is sorely missing from this game is um, signals. Okay, let's go here. Nope. Also, the double tracking thing isn't really perfect, as you can see. It's kind of a little bit wonky. But a lot of this, like I said, is it's early access stuff. So... But you... Yep, you absolutely need to make sure that you have lines to do this kind of thing. Okay, let's confirm this. I also want to connect to Cookville. Um, I want to have lines going either way. So I'm going to add a... So the problem with the double tracking now is I can't choose the direction here with signals. So the trains are just going to randomly go one direction or another. Uh, let's just add... Can we add, okay, so I want to add this to go here. Let's see, let's try maybe closer. Is that better? Yeah, that's fine. That's okay if we do this. Uh, and then I want to confirm this. Okay. Ugh, expensive. Expensive, expensive. And then you can't do a true crossover. Like, you can't do something like this. It's very unhappy about this. So we'll, we'll do the nearest point and then cross over here. Say confirm, $154. That's not too bad. And then we'll do the same on the other side so that we can, if, well, actually, we're going to, we can do that later. Um, if this fills up on wheat, then we'll have to transport the wheat over here. So at the moment, we don't actually need this. So what we want to do, though, is buy a train or two. Let's buy it, uh, our best friend locomotive. Hello. Greetings, best friend. Uh, we're going to add a station. So we're going to get this, this wheat thing going on first. We're going to add Cookville here. 
And then we're gonna add Chattanooga, which is the ad station is above here. For some reason, I always wanna click at the bottom, but anyway, uh, Chattanooga, there we go. So at Cookville, you have to click the loading thing and we're gonna get a couple of wheat cars. And it tells you the price of how much it's going to be. You also can see how many tons you're transporting and how much speed is your maximum for your train. This is very important. Now the cars uh, weigh different amounts and they can cause the trains to um, just go at different speeds and stuff like that. It's very complicated. Uh, so let's do three. Max of 27 miles an hour. I think that's fast enough, but we're gonna have passenger trains going here. So we'll try to load them to approximately that much. I think we can put one more. No, we can't. It tells you. Okay, train is overloaded. So we need to take one off. Um, and then we're gonna unload this stuff here. Now, there are two options for here. So we can unload at the Chattanooga city. Basically the city demands. They're like, hey, we want bread. But the farm says we're going to pay you more. So you see it's about $200 more at the farm. So you need to choose this very carefully um, where you want to unload it because it'll give you more money for that. Um, at the moment, I don't want to load anything. We don't they don't actually demand anything here at Cookville. So we're going to say that's fine. Make sure you say apply. All right. And this train is going to get going as soon as we unpause the game. Now the next thing, well, one thing to note is that <laughs> all of the trains start out at your starting location. That's slightly annoying to me, um, but I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't like that because that means when we finally get over here, it means that um, we're going to have to, uh, uh, yeah, all the trains are going to have to go from this station to go back. Now, one of the issues with the game, this is very much like uh, Sid Meier's Railroads in some ways. They will only demand 20 leather here. And if we're not making clothes, like if we do not have textiles, then we can't make the clothes uh, and it will build up. It doesn't just go away. So we have to think about this as we're going along. Do anybody demand? Okay, these people demand clothes, but these people have a textile factory. Hello thing. Okay, um, so we can get this cotton to go there for textiles and then get the textile trains to go this way, perhaps. That might be really good. Uh, also, we can get some of this logging uh, to be added here to our network because they'll pay for wood and the city eats up these things over time, but it is quite slow. Anyway, we're gonna take advantage of this as long as we can. Let's go ahead and buy another train. And then I want to take this one from, let's see, what's it called? Knoxville to Chattanooga. And what we're going to do is we're going to load passengers, say two. Okay, that's 30 mi 39 miles an hour, 31 miles an hour. That looks great. All right, unload passengers. And then load passengers, one, two, three, and then unload passengers. Now, passengers are quite funny because they have... Um, they have a price per mile. So this is something to keep in mind. Uh, the freight fees are flat. They're like, okay, you buy it, you deliver it, you get paid. But passengers are like, the more distance you travel, the more money you get paid. And I really don't know how it's measured, where it's as the crow flies, or if they take into account the entire length of the rail. I don't know this, but hopefully we'll find out. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and start the game. I don't know if we have enough Huh, income, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so we have started the game. There's a there's a speed control up here, but so far we're gonna just go and um, just go at normal rate here. Let's see. Uh, we have a train list over here. So this train is train one. Train two is still in the station there. Let's see what it's doing. Cargo is loading. Okay and hopefully they'll get the cargo going on now they won't leave until they have three passengers we have uh yep 12 tons they don't have enough people so maybe we should take off some of the people here let's see this is 12 t let's take off some people here apply so as soon as they get one more passenger they're gonna go It's kind of a hard thing to balance because the trains do cost money over time to run. 
I'm wondering if maybe it was just should have been better if I just got the logs to go there instead. But that's another route and it's, it would cost a lot of money to get a bridge over here. So we'll see. Let's go with train one and see how happy it's doing. Okay, it's going to get hopefully three tons of grain. They do have, they have 10 tons waiting. That's great. Or 10 cars waiting, I should say. All right, train one. There we go. What is... Oh, it does have choo-choo sounds. Let me see if I can turn those up. Because I, I didn't hear them before. Let's see. Sound... Sound effects, maybe? Okay. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, let me turn them up even higher. Because I really like those things. Uh, you have to be really close to hear them, though. Okay. Anyway. Uh, I'm actually kind of scared because I don't want something to be like blasting our ears here. Okay, let's just turn it down a bit for now. Those sound effects are a little quiet, obviously. Hopefully that can be maybe attended to. Okay, they do slow down at these interchanges like this. Uh, when we were doing the tracks, I don't know if we... I don't know if you noticed, but they do have sound... Oh, train two's on the move. Okay. Train two has passengers. Yay. Uh, and these are our quests here. We need to set up an HR department and purchase a textile factory. So hopefully we can get that done. Okay, here's purchasing the wheat. So this is going to go... We're going to get out of here. This is cool, though. There's some really nice animations in the game. Look at this tractor. They're, like, uh, harvesting the wheat here. There they go. Either that or making crop circles. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Just joking. It's a really good thing. And some of the buildings have very, very nice details. So you can see the minus 120s. That's the train uh, cost, running cost. And then when they get to a station, they're going to refuel as well. What is this? Oh, some wagons in the backyard here. Nice. Okay. Anyway, here we go. By the way, the name of the locomotive, the best friend, um, Terry, uh, look this up. Thank you very much for that. And he found out that... Um, the, the it was an actual locomotive one of the first okay so here we have the refueling of coal so it is refueling right now and then it can go after it's done refueling now hopefully it's going to go off on this track here um yeah there it goes there it goes <clears throat> so it's always good to have double tracks because if there are trains going one direction on a track then they can't go out until all the trains come in here. And so then you'll have six trains stacked up in a station at once. <clears throat> and none of them can leave uh, until the last one comes in. So here we go, going a little bit slower on these pieces of track here. Oh, it does tell you. Okay, speed limit of 12 there. Okay, good. There we go. Okay, and we made a ton of money. That's great. That's really good. So this is going to get converted into stuff. And at the moment, what we can do is we can get another train. Let's buy another best friend. And then this one, this one is creating or it's um, delivering three grain at a time. So what we're going to try to do is get three leather at a time. So let's add a station to Chattanooga uh, and add a station of Knoxville there. We're going to load in, hopefully, three leather. I don't know how much it, how... Oh, it's going to be... Oh, wow. But it's only 18 miles an hour it can go. You know what? It's better to have probably two trains that are a little bit faster. So it doesn't inhibit these other trains going there. Okay, I think that's good. So we'll unload the leather. Um, And do we want to load any people? Let's load, like, two passengers, maybe? Okay. Okay, and so we're going to tell this to go to Knoxville first, because why not? You can just load the two passengers and life will be happy and things are going to be better. Yay. Good. And I'm really thinking of adding this, uh, this wood to the whole uh, situation here. This is, it's really close from here. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more money first, another delivery or so. So there's train two and train three. They're all going on the rails at the moment to Chattanooga. And now we can start to consider things like uh, upgrading the stations. Like at Chattanooga, 
we can upgrade this station for $3,000 and we can get new facilities. So we can filling station speed up, we can get cheaper maintenance, faster maintenance, and a coal warehouse. Fuel will be 10% cheaper, which is a nice, nice benefit uh, when you have a lot of trains going to a station. But it also will cost us more per month. At the moment, it's costing us 68 per month. And next up heap is 150. I'm not sure if that's the total. We'll, we'll take a look at it and see if that's the total. There's the grain cars coming in. Yay. And we have stuff. Now with train three, I want to go ahead and copy this train and make another one. We'll have it go to Knoxville first. Or, well, I guess Chattanooga first. Sure, why not? <clears throat> All right, and they're going. They're leaping in. This is good. Now, as you upgrade the stations, they also get more platforms in here. So you can, um, well, ish. <laughs> they they have, yeah. Uh, anyway, I don't want to upgrade it right now, but we'll take a look at that if that becomes a good option for us. So at the moment, we have 16,000, which is not a lot of money. Let's see, what's train one doing? Ah, okay, so this is one of the issues with no signaling. It's like it has to wait all the way for this train to go past. It's kind of, um, it doesn't like do multiple checks. It's like, oh, this train was traveling all the way from here. Let's wait. But in reality, it would have had time to go down here instead. So I'm not a big fan of this. Um, what I do want to do, though, I am going to connect this here um, to here. Uh, we're going to do this. So this is 26 uh, miles an hour, presumably. Oh, okay. This is 40, 45. All right. And then we're also going to make, that's 5,000 to construct this, which is kind of expensive. You can see there are signals put, oh, okay. Railroad is occupied by train. This is one of the other annoying things is that it, the, it's kind of like has to be in the shed, uh, which is not ideal. It's like really not ideal. I don't know if we can actually do this, but we'll try. This may be an impossible situation. Come on, thing. Let's go. And we're going to make a lot of money from that uh, leather coming down. Confirm. Okay, there we go. But we're not going to buy anything until we get the leather in here. 3,501. Yay! Okay, what was that? Was that a passenger train? Did we get the leather delivered? Wait, was that train three? Let's look. Okay, train two is... Oh, that's the passenger train. Okay, this is the leather train. Ah, no wonder we're so down on leather is because we have two trains carrying this very, very expensive leather um, worth 2400 And here, we're going to sell it for 9200 each. So this is very good. Now, this is an interesting thing, and I think they're just going to pass through each other. Ghost trains... Yep, there we go. It's fine. It was a little uncomfortable, but we made it. It's okay. Yeah, train sounds are really quiet in the game. Okay. But we are making money. There we go. Okay, so now we can afford to definitely buy another train from another section here. So we're going to buy one more to go from the wheat field. Add station Cookville. Um, and then we're going to add station Knoxville. <clears throat> so we're going to load wheat. I think we said two, three. Okay. And then unload in Knoxville. Okay. Apply. Close. All right. So there we have another new train getting us more money. It's super, super important in this game to build a very strong base of um of operations to get stuff now one thing i don't know is do we need to move this meat probably but before we do that i want to start building our headquarters out we're gonna upgrade this so that we can have uh, a new office department we need to get um research and development program so let's upgrade this so let's install r d now it does tell us we need to get the hr department but I'm not going to worry about that yet. I really want to have the thing. Do we do we have room for this? Oh, we do. Okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Doesn't seem to cost us anymore. Okay. Level of office has been raised to two. We got staff to hire. Objective completed. 
Okay, so let's pause for now. We need to hire three employees. Really? I don't really want three employees. They're very expensive. Oh, but we do want this person. Cost of research, minus 40%. That's great. Okay, we're gonna hire Alfred here. And then we have cost of research minus 10%. Salary month 180, the other guy was minus 600. So they definitely have some different, um, different thing, origin town, Birmingham. I don't know what the square meters is. Maybe it has to do with how much office space they want. Ah, 60 square meters is allocated for staff to hire. We could get Thomas Paul. Um, or construction of rails minus 20%. I think I'll do that when we actually need it. Like when we're gonna build bridges, I'll hire a couple of people before we actually build that. But for now, let's check out the research department right now. And we can see, uh, oh, oh, this is nice. Okay, so it kept our research from the last game. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's exciting. All right, so I think what I want to do, or no, maybe it didn't keep the research. Maybe it just, like, it's further in time or something. I'm not quite sure. Um, this is really interesting. What I do want to do, let's start the John Bull uh, locomotive research. We might skip the John Bull and go straight to the DeWitt Clinton. This is 53 horsepower. This one is 43, and this one is less. This one is 41. Okay, so we're gonna go straight for the DeWitt Clinton and start this research. Now the way this works is it takes 600 days with one researcher. So obviously we want to increase the number of researchers. We have 10, so we're gonna put 10 researchers on this project. Um, you can do multiple researchers researches at a time. Um, so for example, we could do this one, the aging of the best friend, but I don't think it's worth it because I really want to go to the next locomotive level uh, and I don't really care about the best friend locomotive. So we're going to do this. Um, but yeah, you could, you can, you have to also, you have to just take down the number of researchers in order to start a new one. Uh, and then you have to have just basically one researcher on each. So that's fine. We're going to say 65 days. I always, it's hard for me to keep track of this. So February, March, April. So we're looking at mid April for this to complete. There are small notifications, but there's no sound. And I really wish there was a sound to tell us when research is complete. Uh, so anyway, we have this, we need to purchase a textile factory, which is gonna be expensive. Let's see, this is a post office. That's not a textile factory. This is it here, I think. Yeah, there we go, $46,000 to purchase that. But I think I might wanna purchase this farm actually. Can I do that? Yeah, we can buy the wheat field. Upkeep 300 for, per month. Let's, I really wanna buy this and see how that works, but then I might just totally get, yeah. Things might not go well, haha. <laughs> uh, there we go. We have so much traffic on these lines, it's looking good. Nice. Good, good, good. All right, we have train three coming out here. It's nice that it does show us what is being transported on each of these lines here. We might need another passenger train. Oh, see now this one, again, this is so far from this. And at the moment, there aren't any ways to add signals that I have seen. Um, yeah, it's kind of rough, but it'll be fine. So I guess we could have fired this guy, the, uh, Let's see, we have our HR department. This guy is costing us 600 per month. Wow, that's expensive. Because you pay the up upkeep cost, but then the researches are free after the upkeep cost. So maybe I'll just fire the guy because it's costing us lots of money. Okay, fire. But those, the main researches for the trains are the most expensive. Oh, this is looking good. We're getting grain happening. Let's turn the speed up just a tiny bit there. Okay, so we are getting our leather for the clothes. There we are, getting time. Oh, we had a little bit of ching ching there. That's nice, but it was very quiet. I think, um, let me turn up the sound effects a little bit more. 
So far we haven't had any sort of ear breaking things going on here, but that's, yeah, that's that. Okay, I think I'm looking at the time and I think this might be an okay place to stop for this particular episode. Uh, we have a good start to the game here. Ooh, Chattanooga now demands meat. Ooh, do they eat their own meat? Now that's something I wanna know. I'd really like to know that. Oh yes, they do. Look at that. Ha, we aren't getting any money for this, are we? We might, oh, I bet we are. 50,000. Are they gonna have more? Maybe, no. I wanna buy this meat factory immediately. Yeah, buy for 59,000. Oh boy. You know what, we're gonna buy this. I think that means we can sell this meat. I hope it means we can sell the meat to the city. Huh. Does that work that way? I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> okay. Uh, upkeep of $688 a month, but hopefully... Knoxville now demands meat. Whoa, life is now better. Okay, so one of the things about the game is, does this tell us how much we're gonna get from this? No, it doesn't. Come on, give us money. Uh, we don't see how much we're making from this meat place. No, sadness is real. But um, next episode, we're going to talk about things like the engine sheds where we can repair the trains. That's kind of important. We're going to need to do that soon because the trains wear down over time. This is at 57% our first train. So it's getting to be about that time where we need to worry about that stuff. Um, we're going to set up all kinds of stuff and talk about more things. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.